Well, I thought I'd give you a little uh, tour of what I'm doing here with this wood stove. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to switch the orientation and I'll start showing you what's going on. Okay, so here's the uh, Cubic Mini. And uh, it's not really that big. If you were to put the tape up to it, you'll see it's only like 10 inches high. Pull back here. You know, 10. And really uh, another 9 inches down, right? So that's a pretty tiny little stove. It's got extra air coming in off of this lever here. It brings it up to the back and up through the top. There's holes in the sides. So you get air coming in there. And here's your main air here. Uh, yeah, so um, it's supposed to be completely airtight when you go and shut these off. So that in a sailboat, I guess by law, you're supposed to have that. But anyhow, so I'm kind of modifying things <coughs> here a lot. <laughs> What I've done is I'm changing the feet. The feet that come with it are like this to give you that clearance. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I, I really have to push the limits all the way around on this whole project. So I have these. I went and uh, they were basically uh, these and then I just went ahead and, and bent it up. How did I do that? Like that. And bent that back this way pop those on there and then the idea is to um, uh, what am I going to do here I will be here I got another one bent up that's what it is so it's going to go like this it's going to get bolted together so it'll give you not quite the same clearance as what it was before but sandwiched in between these two with a bolt is going to be a metal shroud and this here will get bolted right to the uh, cabinet so it's kind of a little bit hokey there, but uh, by the time you go and bolt that, screw that into the, uh, the uh, cabinet, you know, all the way around, uh, even though these are kind of light, I think that it should be able to hold it fine. Yeah, so. And then here's the shroud that I got going. Um, I've got way too much time in this metal here. And really what it was was just basically uh, came off of a refrigerator. This is uh, another side of the refrigerator door. And uh, I thought, uh, you know, it would work easy, but uh, it wasn't at all. Because what you got going here is you got that foam in there. And I tell you, that is in there like really, really good. So what I had to do is uh, take my knife and then, you know, Slice down, you know, slice down, and then I sliced across, sliced across, sliced, and made little squares all the way along. And um, here I'll show you. Uh, this is a tool that made the magic happen. Uh, it has a very sharp edge. It's just like a pry bar you buy in a store. But that, uh, you know, is able to drive in there and clean it up. The only problem that you end up having, well, <laughs> among many, I guess, was static electricity or whatever so all of these little bits and pieces or whatever that come off here stick to everything stick to here all you know it just sticks to that sticks to the metal sticks to your hands through uh, electricity right so i had to go ahead and put a big garbage bag around the bottom and work my way and work my way up or whatever and yeah it took a fair bit of time and and finally i uh ended up Cleaning it the best I could and took an air hose outside and then I here's the back of it here showing Now this stuff here these little bits and pieces I went and took off a chunk and I went and lit it up and man it lights up like a Like a rocket so you want to get all of that stuff off so I took the torch to it I actually tried burning it off as much best I can So this is uh, going to be my shroud that's going to go around the stove uh, to be able to be uh, a heat deflector so I have to bend all that up yet still all right here I'll show you a little bit more of what's going on um, and that is this will be the very uh, front of the uh, of the stove over here right this is gonna be in the front uh, of course you got the hole for the chimney and it's really tight you know just enough so it's not really touching but a lot of the hot air is not gonna be plastic by I've got these marks here. These are fold lines, fold, 
fold, fold. So this will be the top, and then this will be the side. It's cut back here in order to accommodate uh, the handle there, you'll see. And um, the other thing I'm doing here is on this whole front edge is I'm folding it so that um, you end up with uh, something that if you brush up against it, it's not going to cut you, right? Versus, you know, uh, the back side here. It's just going to be like that uh, with no fold. So I didn't want that to be on the front of it. And, uh, you know, you want to be able to accidentally brush up against it and not end up being sliced. So right now I'm just uh, bending it and I'm using a, a bending tool here so I can't really show you while I'm but it goes like this and I'm just working my way across bending it back and then I will put it on the board here and hammer it down flat. Yeah so uh, that's what we're working on now. Okay here I've got it uh, sliced up ready to go for folding. But there's not just a straight cut it's actually a little bit wider so when you fold it and they fold back on each other later on that you'll have a little bit of clearance to be able to work. Yeah, so the folding part's gonna be the hard part because I don't have a proper folder or whatever. A break, they call it. So I'll have to rig up something. Uh, hopefully it'll work out nice. So this is how I'm gonna try doing the fold. Got it in the workmate here and got it all lined up, folded over. But then the tricky part is I gotta fold these other things back this way too. So, uh, <clears throat> I'll have to figure out another braking system for that. Okay, well here we go with the box. <clears throat> it's looking not too bad. And that fits in there, so by the time I go ahead and put this in there. Let's see. It'll go down nice and tight. Uh, the back needs some work. Going to have some air ventilation coming up through the back, but um, it looks promising anyhow. Okay, now that's a lot of work to make that little simple little box. It's easy to conceive it in your head, but to go ahead and try and build it out, that's a whole other thing. Uh, so here we got uh, back up here. Uh, <clears throat> that's how I'd like to arrange it. Uh, this chimney here is only 28 inches. It's supposed to be 40. I got another section to make it 40, but uh, that's how I'd like to be able to operate it. Uh, it would probably pop out about that far, so it'd probably be sticking up, you know, that that distance out of the top. Um, but um, yeah, so what I got going here is spin it around. <laughs> Kind of experimenting here. I kind of pop riveted the back, but I got this uh, flared open. I don't know if you can see it, yeah, you can see it there to let in air so you get some air flying through here so that the air can escape through the front. And uh, without having a break, it turned out rather nice. Not bad. It'll work. It's not a beauty pageant queen, but uh, it's good enough that I can look at it. I won't be bugged by it. I'd like to show you something else here, just to show you the kind of quality of my father here. Now this box, and there's actually, you can see the same kind of box uh, down right there. Uh, my dad had made these boxes. He had actually had his fifth wheel and a, and a, a four and three quarter ton to pull it. And he had made boxes along the sides of the back of his box and then he had uh, made all these, he had a whole bunch of boxes like this made with all different kinds of tools for on the road. But uh, take a look at this and this is a pop rivet set. Okay, now everything he's made, right? Made the hinges flush or whatever, cut it all out. Um, instead of watching TV at night like everyone else would do, he'd be out working in his, in his wood shop. Yeah, so there you got, you know, Everything is made, man. I mean, this is all bent. He's actually inserted the, you know, the bolt in there. I'll show you what this is all about here. 
But um, okay, so here's another prop rivet gun here. He's bent all this, made all this stuff. And then even this box here pulls out, and this is the same as this box up here. Okay, now you've got uh, leather there with some screws. And you pop that baby open. <laughs> Look what you've got. you got your pop rivets. It's like everything he made. Can you believe it? That's the kind of guy he was. He, he made everything. Old school. He was a great craftsmanship craftsman. I mean, I could show you stuff like he's made china cabinets and coffee tables and built houses and whatnot. And that wasn't his occupation. His occupation was a meter mechanic, but but he was a doer.